I'll do anything, I'll do whatever it takes to... You smell... <laughs> nice. So, you spent all your Primo gems on Furina and now you want Sino? For some reason? But why? when we have Razor. I like meat. So in this video we will go over multiple aspects and decide if Razor is enough. So let's start with the price. On average it takes 40,400 Primo gems to get 5 star character. Considering you have some pity and might lose your 50-50. Because Sino isn't really meta defining character it might be better to save your heart and Primos for more important characters. Now, on the other hand, Razor is only 4 star character and the probability that you have at least one copy of him is really high. Because he's old. Another thing to keep in mind when it comes to spending Primo gems are weapons. Sino best in slot is of course his signature weapon and if you don't have it and want to get the same damage numbers you have to use another 5 star pole arm or one of the battle pass weapons which forces you to spend more money. Then you might say there's Vitas which has great synergy with his kit but the base attack is too low. On the other hand Razor works with any 4 or 5 star weapon that buffs his attack, crit rate, crit damage or elemental mastery. In fact I would argue that his best in slot weapons are weapons that you got or still can get in game for free. Details on that later in the video. Now on to teams. When it comes to Sinos teams, Razer can take over Sinos position without major complications. Plus Razer himself have access to teams where Sino doesn't work. Because main source of Sinos damage comes from his burst which is only electro damage. But Razer burst adds electro onto his physical damage and that allows Razer to play hybrid teams. Because Dendro doesn't react with Cryo, these hybrid teams can cause super conduct and Dendro reaction at the same time. Here is example of hybrid team where Layla with her skill applies cryo for super conduct and lowers physical resistance and on top of that you can play dendro plus hydro for hyper boom or another electro and dendro for aggravate team. Speaking of hyper boom and aggravate for teams where reaction are your main focus Sino's position can be taken by Kaching and the gameplay will be much smoother because her lower energy requirements and lower burst cooldown. For Sino's burst there is one massive problem and this is its duration. Sinus burst by itself lasts only 10 seconds but can be extended up to 18 seconds by proccing his passive and that is great for Sino but there are no characters that can buff Sino for such a long time. So in the end you have to early swap to other characters to reapply all the buffs. On the other hand Razor's burst lasts only 15 seconds but there is no need for proccing any passive or risking getting stunned and missing on the window to proc his passive. Plus all the characters which you want to use on Razor's team have skills and burst that have around 15 seconds duration so when Razor's burst ends you simply reapply all the buffs without losing any of the uptime. On top of all that Razor is much more versatile when it comes to weapons and artifacts due to his ability to burst physical and electro damage at the same time you can adjust his build to whatever is at your disposal. Don't have good physical goblet, give him attack one or maybe EM. The the only change there will be is where the damage happen. More physical damage it will show on his auto attacks. Little extra EM will cause more damage in his reactions. And as I promised in the beginning of the video free weapons that you got or still can get for free are event weapon mailed flower that you could get with all the refinements during Windbloom event and Snow Tomb Star Silver which you can still get in Dragon Spine. I will cover more of Razor's builds and themes in his guide that will come out shortly after this video with the rest of the characters that are on current banner so if you don't want to miss out on that consider subscribing. To summarize what we have so far is character that when it comes to purely dendro reaction oriented themes like Aggravate or Hyperbloom, Sino is outperformed by standard banner 5 star catching due to her lower energy requirements, lower burst cooldown and option for quick swap playstyle which opens more option for set dendro teams. 
And if you want more on-field carry, you have Razer that can comfortably take over Sino's place and is more versatile when it comes to weapons, artifacts and the only difference being that his damage output is combination of physical and electro damage. So, so far I won't pull for him because simply he is not worth the primo gems, at least in my eyes. And on top of all that, Sino does not have nipples. I bet you didn't even notice. If you want to add anything to why you should or shouldn't pull for Sino, leave it down in the comments. And if you don't want to miss out on more videos, like and subscribe. And with that, see you in the next video.